everybody break down and cry because they didn't want it to be over. <sighs> I don't know if I want to go back to her. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I wonder where all the booze came from. On the ship? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that episode where the chief built that still? Uh, I tell you, the chief is resourceful. (laughs) I traded a lot of booze for a lot of engines. Every time somebody wrecked a Viper, more booze for me! Oh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Do you have another anecdote? Do I have another anecdote? A N E S A N E C A N E K D O T E. Be like like a like a funny little story. Um, oh, I have a million of them. Uh, <clears throat> which one should I tell, Jenny? Uh, my son Taylor is now 14 years old, and uh, when he was younger, uh, when I was first starting out, he would be. Uh, um, let me just make sure that these are actually. My- oh. um, he, when I was first starting out, I was still working at a restaurant, and so it would be uh, Taylor. Do you want to come to work with Dad? Hey, yeah, cool. And then he'd watch me wait tables for six hours. Man, this is, sucks. It's only so much pizza and soda that the kid can eat. So he decided that he stopped wanting to come to work with me. So I get Battlestar and I start shooting it and, and it's going on. Hey buddy, you want to come to work? Yeah, no, I'll stay home. It's good. Oh, okay. Um, so he, and he lives with his mom, uh, like two hour plane ride away. And uh, his mom starts showing him the show. And of course it's like, N- n- no naughty bits, right? So it's like fast forward, fast forward. There's your dad. Oh, no. Oh, there's your dad. Oh, he shouldn't be doing that to that girl. Oh, 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 oh your dad drinks a lot. Oh. So he's nine years old. I'm, I'm getting ready to go to work. And Taylor comes up to me and he says, Hey, Dad, can I come to work with you? I'm like, whoa. Yeah, huh? Feeling pretty chuffed. Yeah, buddy. Let's go to work. Come on. Get in the car. <laughs> so we go down to the set. And the, the sets are huge, like they are, the buildings are in, enormous. It's like uh, that convention hall times four. There's four big sets that big, really, really high. And one of them is the Cylon base ship and one of them is the CIC and a bunch of the quarters. And another one is just the whole sort of corridors of the ship. And the other one's the hangar deck. And half of the hangar deck is the hangar deck. And the other half of the studio is a big open space and they drag this green screen around and they put uh, the shells of the vipers and the raptors and everything like that so when they did all those insert shots of the playa that's flying, that's where they did it. So I take him through all of these sets and I walk him over to the hangar deck set and I know he's going to be thrilled when when I open the door because I know there's going to be vipers or a raptor or a raider or something sitting right there and I remember my first time turning the corner and seeing the viper sitting there and it's like from me halfway through the room and there's this huge viper just sitting there and I walked around the corner and went, oh man, that's cool. <laughs> Everybody else see this? That's pretty cool. <laughs> and, um, and I really remember the first day that they had the full-size raider. They built one raider and I walked around the corner and saw this thing just sitting there and it was like it was, like it was alive. It was so malevolent and just, like, whoa. How does it shoot? You know, he's trying to get out of so I take my son in and we walk around the corner and he, he's been walking through the whole ship just thinking this is unbelievable. And he walks in and he turns the corner and he sees the viper sitting there and he just goes, oh, wow. And he's standing there just staring at it. I said, that's pretty good, hey buddy? I said, yeah. I said, do you want to you go take a look? Can we? Said, yeah, yeah, come on, come on, let's go have a look. So he gets a little bit closer. I said, do you want to go up? You can touch it. So he walks up and he's just like, running his hand down the fuselage and touching the wings, and he's just thinking, this is unbelievable. I said, you want to get inside? No way. I said, yeah, you want to get inside? There we go. So I go over and I get the ladder, get the stairs, and I wheel the stairs over and I jam them up. And he's walking up the stairs, and he gets about halfway up, and I'm down here, and he stops and he turns, he goes, Dad, yeah, yeah, buddy, can we, uh... Just a wash in incredulity. I have no idea what he's asking me. And I'm just looking at him like, oh, can we, can we, uh, what, what? This is 
can we uh, take it for a ride? <laughs> take it for a ride? What, is, what does he mean? And I'm just like, how does he not know this? There is no Santa. Come on. <laughs> and I said, oh, and then it dawned on me. I went, oh, dude, no, they don't. They don't actually fly. Oh no, they're dead. Yeah, they fly. They fly. <laughs> no, Taylor, it's like, and I'm thinking, how do I explain visual effects? Well, it's, it's like a cartoon. They put it in and go, no, Dad, Dad, I've seen the show. Mom showed it to me. They fly. I'm standing there arguing with a nine year old going, Taylor, no, they don't actually fly. It's just, it's like cartoons. And now he's mad. He goes, oh no, Dad, they fly. She flies them, and he points right past me, and I turn and I look, and there's Katie Sackhoff walking behind me in her flight suit, holding her helmet, and she's just mid stride, she just goes, what did I do? <laughs> and, I, and I turn around and I uh, Taylor wants you to take him for a ride. <laughs> and she had the same look that I must have had, she just goes, what? <laughs> wants to go for a spin. Uh, they don't, what? what? <laughs> so Taylor thinks he knows that you fly them. He wants you to take them and she goes, oh my God, that's so cute. <laughs> she starts crying. She's like, oh no, that's so lovely. And he gets out, he's just furious. He gets inside the thing and it's just plywood and a bunch of stick on buttons and somebody spilled coffee cup and a couple of water bottles and some sides. He's just, oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> Storms down the stairs, blows right past me. And I, so I'm following back to my trailer, and my trailer's 300 yards away on the other side of the lot, and I'm just following him, and he stomps down, stomps down. <laughs> People are going, is he okay, is he okay? Yeah, I don't know, just, 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 just don't right. Get back, and he, up the stairs, slams the door of my trailer. People come over and go, what the hell? I tell them the story, they're like, oh, God! <laughs> So I give him like a half hour to kind of calm down. And I go and I, I peek open the door and he's got his Xbox in there and he's sitting there staring at the, the tours over here and his TV's up here and he's sitting on the couch and he's just like, stupid planes don't fly, they fly. It's like, bloody show, Dad. You know, you can't fly them. That's why you're not a pilot. <laughs> Everybody all right? Yeah, fine. Why don't you learn to fly the planes and go for a drive? And I thought, okay. I just, he wouldn't talk to me for the rest of the day. He was furious. Great. Don't ever bring your kid to set. That's, that's the golden rule right there.